Hello everybody, welcome. Now, I've got another unboxing to do today. If you want to just see the corner of the box here, um, it's a big one, uh, and I'm looking forward to doing this one. Now, what is it? Let me show you. It is a Kasori air fryer. Now, thank you for, for Kasori for sending me this out. Um, I'm not sponsored. I'm not being paid for it. They sent me out to review it. So, I put it on top of me cooker just because it's uh, box is a bit big. So, let's unbox it. So, let's give, let's open it all up then and have a look. Now, apparently, uh, Kasori is the number one selling brand in America. And I've just started to come to the UK. So, get around this side. This will be a quite an interesting one, this. Now I might have to lift it on the floor, put it on the floor to lift it out because I'm not going to be able to lift it up. So let's put it on the floor and let me lift it out. So mate, it's coming. <laughs> It's coming. There it is. Yeah, let's turn it around that way so you can see. Look at that thing then. Kasori Dual Blaze, uh, 6.4 litre, so it's massive. Uh, smart air fryer. You can use your Google Play or your App Store through your phone. To cook it, it's got recipes on your on the app, on the VSync app. It even connects to your uh, Alexa in your house. So let's open it up. Uh, what else? You got anything on the side? Overheat protection. Quality material. Aluminium basket. There's triple the thickness. Non-stick basket for crisper. It's all dishwasher safe. More fried food, less guilt. That's handy for everybody, Ali, isn't it? More fried food, food and less guilt. There's like quite a lot of stuff. All right, let's get it out of the box. Probably have to put it on the floor again. What have I got here? Prepare your kitchen. Let's have a look at this first. Oh, recipe book. What else we got? A thank you for choosing Kasori. Two year warranty. And a user manual. Which we'll go through in a minute. Oh, tune them out. <sighs> yum, yum. Right, um, I'm going to have to put it on the floor to get it out, unless I can do it like this, I suppose. I might be able to. Let's have a look. What have we got here? That's a crisper plate. Okay. Move the box. Move the right, I'm going to stick it on the. If I stick it on the side, I might be able to lift it up. Right, we've got it out of the box. Anything else in the box, mate? No? Bring you a little bit closer. It's a beast, isn't it? It looks a beast. Well, right, let's get the uh, the bottom open. Bottom off. Glasses are falling down. It's 
6.4 litres, huge, isn't it? That's a big family one, that is. There it is. Get it in the middle. There we go, look at that thing. We'll take all the stickers off. Right, you've got loads of different settings. You've got chicken, you've got steak, you've got seafood, you've got veggies, you've got fries, and you've even got a frozen setting. You've got a, an air fry, a reheat, a roast for a joint, a keep, you've got to keep warm on this, a bake and a broil, which is grilling in England, isn't it? So, what's the, what's the, uh, let's have a look what the basket's like. Oh, that's big. Look at the size of that thing. That's huge, isn't it? Okay. Got an element protector here. Let me take this off. Yeah, you got your heater at the, you got your heater at the top. With your elements and your fan. And then you've got the one at the bottom, which cooks from underneath. Which is half the time cooking, isn't it? So there's no flipping involved in this. You don't have to turn things over. Wow. I'm going to read the instructions. I'm going to wash everything up. And then we're going to cook some stuff. I've prepared some stuff to cook. And we're going to test it. So let me wash everything up. I'm going to use a quick read. Um, the instructions, I say. It's best if you read them yourself. I'm going to set up this app as well. On my phone. I'll show you what that does. Care and maintenance function. It's even got a, a cooking time function there, look. So I'll wash it all up. I'll read the instructions. And then we'll cook some food. I just started reading the instructions. I just washed it up. Just started reading the instructions. It says first thing to do before you do anything else is give it a test run to make sure everything's working. I don't know if you can see that with a light. Test run. So let's, give, let's plug it in and give it a test run. I'm always test running. I can read the instructions and figure things out. So the first thing I'm going to do then, I'm going to put the uh, the crisper basket in the bottom of this. Uh, just go in some out, doesn't it? Just push in, I suppose. Yeah, it just pushes in. Uh, the w one thing I've noticed on this one, it's got a solid handle, look. So there's no... For an extra basket. Well, that's massive, isn't it? Look at the size of that thing. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to plug it in. Make sure the lights on that come on. We've got a beeping sound, so that's a good sign. And it says for the warm up, make sure the air fryer basket is empty. Plug in, yes. Press the air fryer, press the air fryer symbol. Oh, there we go. Press air fry. Uh, 205 degrees. For 10 minutes. Well, it says 20 minutes, but put it down to 10. So we're going to do that, and we're going to let it warm up, and we'll get listen to what the sound is anyway. That's it. Sounds powerful. Sounds very powerful. Right, I'm going to let that do that for 10 minutes. And I'm going to go and read these instructions. And do this app. Right, it's on its last uh, minute now. And it's counting down. And I've put, the, uh, I've put the app on my phone. So I'm going to set that up with this in a second. To see if it works. 10, 9. I can smell that new smell, you know that new smell you get off of your appliances, I can smell that, there you go, that's done, three bleeps it says, finished, so let's set up this new app, I've set up the app, um, I'm not sure, I mean if it does uh, show me IP, I can always blank it out or something, so it's guys there, add a device, that's just me email there choose a device which is that one press and hold the power button for five seconds so the Wi-Fi indicator starts blinking one two three four 
three, four, five. Yep, yeah, there. Okay. Found device. Connecting to device. Uh, yeah, I'm just come off this for a second. I've done with Wi-Fi. Uh, room, kitchen. Next. Dear device of the unique name. Uh, what should we call him? Let's call him Bob. There we go. Dear device of the unique icon. No, I don't need to do that. Your device is set to go. And try it out. Done. Let's get cooking. Okay. Sit back and relax. Exclusive recipe library. Hands free cooking. So let's get cooking then. Let's see what it does. For some reason it's... Set the Wi-Fi network. What's it on about? I've just set it. It's playing up. Click off that, go back in the app and see what it does now. More device, Bob. Let's click on it. There it is, look. Right, start cooking. There it is. So I'm going to stick something in it then. Uh, I've done a few items. I'm going to start off with something that's nice and simple to start with. Let's move that back a little bit so you can see. Well, I've done myself a little pizza. First things first. Something nice and simple. Just a cheese pizza. So I'm going to stick that in. Then I'm going to go into this app. Uh, cook time on 200 degrees. Same as it goes in the oven. And I'm going to put it on for what's the, what they usually do in the oven, about 15 minutes, then, I? I'm going to put it on for eight minutes and I'll, seven minutes, and I'm going to check. So it's cooked now. Press the start button on the thing. Now that's cooking. Well, if you, yeah, you know, look, I can go in the living room now. What's your way to tell you? Tell me when it's done. So I'll bring you back when that's done. Well, that's been in about four minutes now. So it's there, four minutes left. So what I want to do, have a look, because I don't know how long they're going to take to cook. Because it's a dual thing. Oh my God. That's done. Look at that beauty. That took four minutes. Now what I want to see, does that stop cooking? Stop cooking? Yes. Finished. And that's cut off. Ain't that good? Let me get some tongs. I should have put this on a board, really. I would have shouted that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Four minutes. The size of it. Lovely. Right, I'm going to put that in there for a second. On to cook something else now. Now, I'm going to do, this time, I'm going to cook in this. I prepared some of here earlier. Just a bit of chicken thighs, that's all. I'm not sure how many I'll get in there. But we'll have a look. And I'm going to use the chicken feature this time to see if that works. I've just salt and pepper and a bit of oil. And a bit of um, mixed herbs on there. There's seven chicken thighs there. But I don't know if I'll get all them in. Four, five, so they're going to shrink a bit, ain't they? Six, oh well, just seven. There's no extra oil in it because there's oil on the chicken and that already. There we go. So, seven chicken thighs in there, that's quite good, that is, isn't it, for the size. I'm going to stick it in. I don't know how long the chicken feature takes, but we'll find out. Uh, chicken. No, turn on. Chicken, 200 degrees, 20 minutes. Can you see that? Let me bring it a bit closer. 200 degrees, 20 minutes. Does that say there's no turning them because it should heat from the bottom? Start. 
Right, that's been 10 minutes. I'm just gonna, I know he's not going to be ready. I just want to check. Oh, looking nice. Look at that. 10 minutes. Oh, and it smells delicious. I know they're not going to not cook yet, no way. 10 more minutes to go. Right, that's on its last 30 seconds now. I haven't looked at it since the 10 minute mark. So, and once they're done, I'm going to do, do, once they're done, I'm going to do some roast potatoes. I haven't parboiled them or anything. I'm going to stick them in. I'll just put them in the water just to stop them going brown. So we'll see how they come out. Four seconds, three, two, one, beep beep. I'll tell you what, it smells delicious, that chicken. But we'll see if it's done anyway. Oh, look at them beauties. Look at them. Oh, look at that crunch. Let's see. Sixty-five is done. Sixty-six, sixty-seven. It's done. Like right, fries on about hundred and eighty, don't you? Or some of those, a bit more. Hundred seventy is done. A lot more, a bit more done than that, though. I'm going to put, I'm going to put it in for another couple of minutes. It's done, but I like my chicken to be done a little bit more, a little bit more than that. My fries, anyway. Finished. Oh yes, oh, I don't even have to check them, look at them, listen to the say sizzle, oh that gorgeous, let me just check them in a thermometer, but they're done, definitely done because they were done before, they're done, perfect, absolutely perfect, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get them out, I'm going to put them on a board, and then we're going to get on with the potatoes, well, I've done my spuds. I've just put some uh, salt and pepper, bit of oil, and some uh, mixed herbs in there. And what I'm going to do, I've took the thingy plate out. And I'm just going to give that a quick wipe. I'm not because I want to keep some of that juice in there. And I said it's really easy to clean these, apparently. So let's have a look. Give myself some kitchen roll. Just give this a wipe and see. Yeah, nothing sticks, look. Keep a bit of fat and a bit of them juices. Because we want that. But yeah, clean's easy. Fair play. I don't know if you're washing, obviously, a bit under the sink. Now I'm going to get these potatoes in. Can you see that, yeah? Yeah, you can see, can't you? Covering some of them little juices there. Now, I don't know how long these are going to take. I'm going to put them in for 20. And I'm going to check after 10 again. Because the other thing I like about this is. You can re reheat everything up kind of. So I can put that chicken back in for like a minute. To reheat. I'm just going to give them a mix with having juices in there. Move that out of the way. I want to see that. There's the spuds. And we're going to stick this one, uh, does it say veggies? I suppose it's veggies, isn't it? Let's have a look. What does that come on? 195? Yeah, no. Let's just do air fry. 180 for 10. No. I'm going to go 20 minutes. I'm going to go 20 minutes. So I don't know how long it's going to take. 200 degrees. And what I'm going to do, halfway through cooking, I'll, I'll just keep checking how long it takes to cook. I'll check after 10. I'm going to stick some of these in with it. At least take about 20 minutes in the oven. So it should take about 10 minutes in there. So we'll see. So we'll start that. 20 minutes. While this is cooking, I've just killed it, cleaned this grill plate here. And i tell you what, I just wiped it over with a sponge and it's just all come off. Not like the one I've got, me other one, me, uh, me cheap budget one where you have to scrub it, it's just come off. Bang on. That's proper non-stick. 
Right, while that's cooking away, it's got seven minutes left. I'm going to use the same bowl as my potatoes because it's all got the seasoning in it. And I'm going to get them in. Get all these in here. Oh, that smells nice and herby. I've had them before from the Aldi. I've got two packets because I'm greedy. I'm going to have both of them with going with the potatoes if I've got enough room. Should have. I'm just going to mix away. It's got all the oil and everything in here already, the seasoning. Right, that's only 11 minutes now. I haven't had the look, so I'm, going to have, I'm just going to have a quick look. And we'll see. All the getting there. Look, don't forget, nothing's been flipped over. So I'm going to give them another five. I'm going to give them another five, then I'm going to put them in because I don't think they're going to take too long. So I'll give that another five minutes. Right, that's been on uh, nearly 15 minutes now. So I'm uh, going to have a look. Oh, they're coming on, look. Yes, so I'm going to get this other stuff in now. Let's move you back a bit so you can see. And I'm going to stick all this in. Good thing about this is like a little uh, pan in it, so it's like an oven. You haven't got to use the crisper plate, and there's no turning either, because it cooks from underneath, which is brilliant. Look at all this goodness in there, look. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm just going to get that a mix, spread it all out, beautiful. Well, I'm going to put that in for maybe 10 minutes. This only goes up to 205. But that's because it's cooking from underneath as well. So I'm going to put it on for 10. And then it should all be done. Right, this has got four minutes to go and it smells absolutely delicious in here. It really does, so I'm going to open it and have a look. Ho, ho, ho! Look at that! Oh my god! Let me just stick a knife in one of them uh, potatoes. Got a knife. Oh yeah, perfectly soft. Let's try a pepper. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. That's all done. That's all done. I'm going to give it one more minute while I set everything up. Right, I'm going to stop it now. I think that's it. You can just turn it off, I think. Right, so. I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to move it to the side and I'm going to dish it up. And it's not hot. I'm going to keep my hand on it. Just lukewarm. But that is goodness. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm going to get all this into the one bowl. I'm not going to pour it in because I don't want all the juice. There we go. Bowl of goodness. Look at that. Smells delicious. Oh, man. And just give this a clean. Nothing sticks. Look. Get all the fat off. Rinse under the sink. How long it takes me. There you go, done. Proper non-stick. Does that set me to clean that 10 seconds altogether? Boom! Put your thingy back in. You can also put your chicken back in to warm it back up. But I'm not going to. So, there we go. Kasori air fryer. I think that's an absolutely some machine, that is. The chicken, all the juice there where it's been sitting and resting. Still warm because it's had the foil on it. 
Roast potatoes. Roasted vegetables. Gorgeous. Mmm. Wow. So then, so there you go, Kazori air fryer. Dual blaze, 6.4 litre. Absolutely some machine that is, I'm telling you now. Thank you to Kasori for sending me that out to review. That is some machine. Wow, absolute wow. I've got nothing better else to say about it. You can see why it's America's number one seller, their brand. That is superb. I'll leave a link in the description. It's some machine. Uh, the app is superb with it as well. I couldn't test uh, uh, Alexa because I haven't got one. But I did look online and uh, you can just say whatever degrees and it'll just start. Well, there we go. Kasuri air fryer 6.4 litre. Brilliant. So, I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. Bye bye. And thank you for Kasuri for sending me that out. Superb. Bye.